your ex-husband is here because he says now nah, i am so happy that she finally got true love mm -hmm. i should have never asked for her to marry me i should have never given her a ring i should have never led her astray unbelievable this oh. is the top one uh oh, oh ex-husband is here and he's here with his mother on the other side Oi, his mother, oi. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, both those souls are stepping forward because he goes to me, Matt, not only would she not believe that I'm here, but my mother's here, he said. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> and I, first of all, have to tell you, this is a really tough reading to do because sometimes there's souls that you don't want to hear from, and this is one of them. Okay. But he kept saying to me, Matt, I have to come through. I have to let her know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And when I'm connecting with, with him, he says to me, the one thing that you had such a hard time with here in this world was that you felt that as much as you tried to help him within life, his mother got in the way. Do you understand that? A hundred percent. And he said that, you need to let her know that my mom didn't get in the way, that she was just an excuse, an excuse for me. He said, because I didn't do the right thing. He says, when I went into, the, he tells me that when he first got into the relationship with you, he says, Matt, I did everything that I possibly could. He says, to look out for myself and nobody else. Yep. He says, I was so selfish. All I cared about was what I was doing. And I, he says, I didn't treat this marriage like a marriage. He tells me. Oh my God. It's 100%. And, he, and I'm going to tell you something. His mother's also here for a reason because she's also apologizing to you. Wow. Because what was really tough is that when you divorced your husband, right? He tells yes. me that you did not go through this divorce, just you and him. She was there fighting you every single step of the way. A hundred percent. And I'm going to yes. tell you something that you don't know. Okay. okay. And this is where you're going to disagree with me, but I don't care what you say. Cause I, li I listen to the dead, not the living. Okay. This is the truth. And sometimes I feel like Judge Judy, right? Because when you're being a medium, you get to hear, <laughs> finally, the souls don't lie on the other side. They will tell me the truth, truth, and nothing but the truth, because that's just the world that they're in. And do you know that his mother just said to me, Matt, please let Shula know that I always loved her. I always liked her for my son. She says, and I was so mad at her because of this divorce. That's what she tells me. Mm -hmm. Because she tells me that before you even met her, her son, she was very protective over him. And more importantly, she tells me that she knew that he had his own problems here in this world. She knew that he could never be faithful. She tells me that she that she knew that he could never be faithful in a relationship. And she says, Matt, she says, I enabled him. She tells me that she lied for him. She oh went gosh. and she did. It's true. I know she's telling me. Yes. But she says to me, Matt, I knew that if there was one person that was ever going to be that he was ever going to be in a relationship with or love or be able to have the chance of the family with, it'd be Shula. Uh -huh. She says, so I liked her, but she also tells me that she was very jealous. She was very jealous of the relationship and the love that the two of you had because she felt like you, you were taking him from her. Yes. Yes. There were both four kids, but he was her favorite. Both of these souls are here because together they caused such issues in your life here in this they, world. They did. They and did. For years, you had tried to forget about them, forget about this relationship, forget about these past chapters, when really you did nothing wrong. Oh. And do you, do you know that your ex-husband is here because he says, Matt, nah, I am so happy that she finally got true love. Mm -hmm. Because here in this world, I should have never led her down that road. I should have never asked for her to marry me. Yes. I should have never given her a ring. I should have never led her astray. I needed to hear that. Thank I know, you. because you've been holding on to this for literally 20 years. Literally. And he says to me, Matt, today this ends, because the silver yeah. lining that came from this is that you met your husband, who's such an amazing man. Amazing, amazing. And I have two amazing kids and granddaughters, and I'm so grateful. Yeah. Please know he just said to me this. He says, Matt, I have to come to it. Because I said, well, why do you feel like you have to apologize, apologize all this time? He says, because I don't want her to think anymore that she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. And that's how we made her feel. So for years, what's tough is that you left that relationship and you really didn't hear much about him. You didn't know what happened to him afterwards. But I see him in, out of, in and out of relationships. I see him uh -huh. lost when his mom was lost here in this world. Mm -hmm. And I see that when he died, he had nothing to show for his life here in this world. Wow. He says, and Matt, I could have had it all with her. Yep. So mm -hmm. please know that you have nothing to regret. You made something of your life. You found true love. 
yes. says, and I want to let you know that I was the one who gave up the best thing that ever happened to me, not you. Thank you. So please know that. Okay. And know that as hard as this message was to hear, yes. I'm so happy that you accepted it because I, this is something when souls do you wrong with this unfinished business, they'll come through to a medium mm -hmm. like myself to try to set things right. And that's exactly what he's doing right here and right now. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here.